Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you full wave bridge rectifier. Let me tell you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See here, I'll cover circuit, working and waveforms of full wave bridge rectifier. In my last video, I have covered full wave rectifier using center tap transformer. Here, I'll explain you full wave bridge rectifier. So let us see the circuit first. See in the circuit here we are using step down transformer. Here we are using step down transformer in which input is AC main. As if you talk about India, then AC main supply that is having value of 230 voltage and 50 hertz of frequency. Here we are having step down transformer. What it means? Primary winding is having more number of turns and secondary winding that is having less number of turns. Because of that, you will be observing here output of this transformer. Output of this transformer is having less voltage. How much voltage is there? That is based on how much winding is there, right? So based on number of turns, with this transformer, one can calculate voltage at output of this transformer. But that will be AC signal only, right? And in the circuit, here we are having bridge connection of diodes. And we will be taking output across RL. That output will be V0 over here as per plus minus polarity. So that is how basic circuit is there with full wave bridge rectifier. Now let us try to understand working of this full wave bridge rectifier. So as if you want to understand working, then first you need to see how much V in voltage that is coming. See V in voltage that we apply over here in between these two terminal, right? V in voltage that we apply over here in between these two terminal. That is output of this step down transformer. And that is AC signal that you can observe here. That is AC signal. Right. So as if you want to understand working, then you will have to bisect this V in in terms of positive half cycle and negative half cycle. This is positive half cycle. Right. And this is negative half cycle. So during positive half cycle, what will happen? See, during positive half cycle, you will be observing that this terminal is positive with respect to this terminal. So as this terminal is positive, you see here we are having positive voltage. As here we are having positive voltage, this diode D1 that will come in forward bias as here we are having anode of D1. This D2 will come in reverse bias as here we are having cathode. So diode D1 will come in forward bias and then current will flow in this direction through RL. Why the reason is D4 will come in reverse bias. You see positive come over here at anode. So D1 will come in forward bias that positive come over here. So this D4 will come in reverse bias. Then current will flow over here. And then D3 that is having positive here. So D3 will come in forward bias. So that is how things will happen. So in a way you can say during positive half cycle, this terminal is positive with respect to this. So D1, D1 that will come in forward bias, right? D1 will come in forward bias. You see it will come in forward bias like this. And then current will flow through the RL and then it will flow through D3 and then it will go in this loop, right? That is how current will flow. So one should understand this during positive half cycle, during positive half cycle D1 and D3 that will come in forward bias because of which current will flow like this, right? So it is flowing in this direction during positive half cycle. Now what will happen during negative half cycle? See during negative half cycle, this terminal is negative with respect to this. During negative half cycle, this terminal, you see during negative half cycle, this terminal is negative with respect to this. So this is positive terminal that one can say in negative half cycle. So here you see this positive is connected here. So D4 is having anode over here. So D4 will come in forward bias. So current will flow from here 
D4 will come in forward bias. So current will enter over here. D3 is having cathode here. So positive with cathode means D3 will come in reverse bias. So current will enter into D4 and then here D1 will come in reverse bias. So current will go through RL and then D2 will come in forward bias. So current will go over here and that is how in loop current will flow. So during negative half cycle, what happens you see D4 and D2 that will come in forward bias. Let me note it down. D4 and D2 that will come that will come in forward bias. Right. So here current will flow in this loop you see. It will flow like this. Right. It will flow like this. You can observe. Why it is flowing like this? The reason is D4 and D2 that comes in forward bias. Right. So that is how basic working is there with this full wave bridge rectifier. Now let us try to understand this with respect to waveforms. See during both of this cycle current direction is same that you should know. Current direction that is same right it is happening in this direction only. Now see to have a waveform you see during positive up cycle what happens during positive up cycle D1 and D3 that is coming in forward bias. So current is flowing like this. So here if you observe current is happening in this direction. It is happening in this direction. Right. So output voltage that is happening across RL. So output voltage that is similar to V in and that is happening in this direction as per plus minus polarity. So here in waveform output will be here in waveform output will be similar to input. Right. Output will be similar to input you see I am plotting it. So that is having maximum volume that is Vm over here as it is Vm over here right. Here D1 and D3 that comes in forward bias right. So see the diode which are on that I am noting over here. Now during negative up cycle what happens you see during negative up cycle this terminal is positive. So D4 and D2 that comes in forward bias. So current is happening in this loop. Right. It is happening like this in this loop. So as it is happening in this loop, you see previously direction of current that was there in this direction. Now again in negative up cycle also current direction is same. So this negative up cycle now that is getting converted into this direction only. Right. That is happening like this only. So you see here also Vm maximum is there and during negative half cycle this D2 and D4 that comes in forward bias. Right. And you see now output is DC only. Now it is not AC. AC means positive and negative both half cycles are there. DC means now both half cycles are positive over here. And this is what we are doing it with bridge rectifier. Right. So here rectification means what? Here rectification means we will be converting AC signal into DC signal. Means current direction that will be in same direction during positive and negative half cycle. And that is how simply one can have it with full wave bridge rectifier. In next video, I'll explain parameters of full wave rectifier. So in that, I'll explain parameters of full wave bridge rectifier as well as parameters of full wave rectifier using sender tap transformer. I hope you have understood this video. Till if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.